Hey everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back here with a new video. And in this video, I'll be going over 10 of my favorite celebrity lock moments, okay? So I'll be going over some of my favorite lock styles that I saw some celebrities wearing. And I'll be talking about celebrities with natural locks, okay? Not the faux locks, although I do wanna give a shout out to Megan Good and Ciara. Whenever they have their faux locks, I love them, they're gorgeous. Have you guys seen Harlem on Amazon Prime? Shout out to Megan Good and that. <laughs> anyway, so let's get into the first look. And the first look is Ava DuVernay. I love the style on her. In general, I love a side sweeping style. I don't do it very often because I don't like the way it feels when I have hair in my face. It's really annoying. Like even this piece of hair touching my face right now is bothering me a little bit. I don't like it. But when my hair was relaxed, I used to do it all the time. It was more comfortable when my hair was relaxed. But the locks on my face, it's, it's, it's not the same. I don't really like it. But I like the way it looks. I love the way it looks. And it looks really sultry and sexy. I mean, look, her eye makeup here is, is like giving. So it really helps with the look. It's a very simple style. I mean, I don't know what's going on in the back. And it might be actually, it might be like a half up style or maybe like the like half of it gathered down so not necessarily half up but half tied up you know what i mean i can't really tell but it looks really good i love a side style and she typically doesn't do too much to her hair she does a she tends to keep a nice fresh retwist and she does often like do like maybe a like a faux bang situation like a bun up top like she does things like that a lot but it keeps like most of it down so this is not too off from what she typically does, but it's gorgeous. I really like it. By the way, these aren't in any particular order, but I really like this one, so. Um, next up, we have Wale. Now, I really wanted to include Wale's Bantu Knots in this because I really want to shout him out for even wearing Bantu Knots in the first place. Most men wouldn't, and it doesn't look feminine on him at all, at least not to me. Sometimes he wears the band two knots with the bandana on his forehead. That also helps to add a masculine touch to the style. But in general, the way he carries himself doesn't, you know, make the style look feminine. And that's what I I appreciate. When we know I appreciate when someone can take something that's typically, you know, feminine and make it look masculine on you, or vice versa. That's cool. That's cool. That um thank you. unique individual style and flair like it's appreciated and but let me know what you think do you guys like the bento knots on wale i like to know and he does it a lot he does bento knots a lot so i know he really likes it and shout out to wale because he's he keeps his locks fresh so that's why he gets two spots on my top 10. so number two was the bento knots and number three goes to his updos now a lot of people don't really like when men do high buns with their locks i i totally disagree i love it i love to see it whether it's a sloppy you know effortless bun or a very manicured bun i like to see it a lot and again it's all in how you carry yourself it's all in what you're wearing you know your your own personal style and swag like how you carry the style is what's gonna is how it's gonna make the style translate so for me while a lot of people think that a, a bun an a bun on a man is feminine it all depends on how you carry yourself. And I feel like Wale does a good job at making it look very masculine and very regal at that. So yeah, let me know what you think about that. What do you think about um, a man bun? What do you think about a, a high man bun? Now, next up, we're still in the bun business, is going to Chloe Bailey. I really like when she does a messy bun, but in particular, this messy space bun look. Well, actually, I don't know if, it's, if I would call that a space bun, but she has two buns on her head. They're messy. She has some, like, strays coming down in the front and from the bun. And you could tell that her hair was probably in a braid out or a twist out or something like that prior because they're kind of crinkled a bit. I like this look. It's very relaxed, but it's still intentional. And you see she's wearing a gown. So... It's it's giving a bit of a casual look to a more formal look, and it's a it's a look. And with 
sunglasses like it's a look i really like this um that's something i would do but i would probably do it with um some locks down in the back because my buns would be too huge because i have a lot of hair shout out to my my twists right now <laughs> but i really like this it's really cute very fun it's very youthful let me know what you think about this one and she tends to do that type of look a lot with when it comes to buns she has a lot i've noticed a lot of pictures with her in a, a bun usually it's one bun though one bun on top but it's usually like a braid out with some locks coming down and it's a look it's again it's like a really relaxed look but it's also a very intentional look you know what i mean it looks like i woke up like this but it looks like i woke up like this on purpose you know what i mean <laughs> Next up, we have Hallie Bailey. Of course, if I'm shouting out Chloe, you know I gotta shout Hallie, right? So Hallie, she tends to do a lot of faux short looks, I noticed. So this one in particular, so cute. Hallie, her locks are probably like in the bra strap length area, mid back area. Um, but here, she has them styled in twists and they're um, she has some sort of like knots on the bottom which further help to shorten the look so it gives her like this bob type of style and it's really cute the way it's going to one side very cute on her I love it and she does styles like this often um, with like a, gives like a faux bob look I've seen her do it with curls and like, she's pinned her curls I think I actually made a video here on this channel, like trying to recreate it. I didn't do a very good job. I'll probably do that over. <laughs> but um, yeah, I really like the faux short look on her. And Hallie, she gets two spots on my top 10. This next spot is this look. I believe this is from the Met Gala. And it is simply a curly, crimpy high ponytail now it's not just a regular high ponytail she has her locks wrapped around the base of the ponytail to give the ponytail some more height and i really like that it's really pretty it's really elegant and a style like this you can dress it up you can dress it down clearly you see her dressing it up for the Met gala but you can wear that with it with what i have on like my little white crop top with some jeans you can wear it like that you can wear it any way you want to, you know, it's again, when it comes to lock styles, like there's not strong rules if you ask me. It's all about your style, your swag, your energy, your essence, and you know, just your vibe and how you present yourself and the style, you know. And I do notice that she does do a high pony a lot. And I don't know if this is common knowledge. If you're a Chloe and Hallie fan, you may know this if you pay attention. But I noticed that she had a undercut for a while. Um, but I don't, I mean, well, Chloe and Hallie, they're singers. That's, that's what they mo mostly focus on. But like, I've been looking for their hairstyles. And I wish they would post more of just their hair so I can get into it. And I follow some of the women who do their do her hair, do their hair. But I wish I could see like more details. So I could really emulate the styles and recreate them and for you guys, you know. But I noticed she had an undercut that she's growing out right now. Um, if I can find some pictures, I'll post them here. But I saw definitely saw I definitely peeped in some performances when she 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 would wear her hair in a high ponytail and it will cover it but maybe she made a movement and i would see it and i'm like oh my gosh she has an undercut but yeah so if you didn't know that now you know so next up we have ty dollar sign every time i think of ty dollar sign i think of insecure if you know you know but um i'm shouting him out because i really like the gold streaks and i don't know why i said gold instead of blonde but i guess it's giving gold but i like the gold the blonde streaks so also shout out to Future because he ha tends to have like bl a blonde and black as well. But um, I like it on Ty Dolla Sign more. Do I maybe a little bit more because it's more subtle? Um, now 
actually, should I say that? Because I, I really do like it on Future too. But I guess, so I, I like it on Future when it's grown out. So there's a lot more black than blonde. But I see that he has a lot of blonde. Um, I'm not sure what he's doing right now, but I found some pictures of him with the blonde, more blonde, and with the more black. Let me know what you think. Um, especially with uh, regards to men. Do you guys like the, the color on men? Do you guys like colored locks on men? Let me know. I would love to know your thoughts on that too. Um, I guess it's not necessarily colored, it's lack of color. Blonde is the lack of color. So do you guys like blonde locks on men, blonde streaks? Let me know. But I want to shout them out because I really do like the look. I think it's attractive. I think it's, um, it's a nice, unique touch. You know, especially because men don't typically like to do too much with their locks. They, men tend to do twists and braids and messy buns. That's what they tend to do. Every now and then you see a man with a manicured bun like with Wale, but men don't really do too much. So I do like when I see like that little personality into their locks. I like that. Speaking of men with locks, we have Jaden Smith. Now, if you recall, he used to have locks. And I wanted to put him on this list because I like that he had like a, what do they call it, like a crew cut with the locks. It's where the sides and back are all shaved and he just has locks on the top. That's a good look. That, that's a very popular look. Going, I know some people personally who do that, like a few people actually. And it's a look, it's a vibe. I like the way he's wearing it here with the ponytail so, so you're really emphasizing the shade, the shaved sides. and. He doesn't have a twist, like a fresh twist at all. It's a very relaxed but yet intentional look. I like it and it looks good on him. I remember um, Black Panther, well, Killmonger, you know, Michael B. Jordan, he had like the short locks on top with the little situation going on, like with the shaved sides and back. That was popular for a while too. I think he made that pop pretty popular. Um, so I'll give an honorable mention to Killmonger <laughs> for that. Next up, we have Willow Smith. I couldn't shout out Jaden Smith without Willow Smith, you know? They both had locks at one point. Uh, and I wanted to shout out Willow Smith with her locks in this particular look because you don't see lock bangs very often. And I think that it's really cute on her. Well, her locks in general here are short. So it kind of blends. But she has like these little, little buns, ponytails at the top, which is cute. But I'm really focusing on the bun, on the bangs. And um, that's a look, I know, I know people personally have told me, oh, I can't get locks because I don't have no edges. And I'm just like, you know, you could, you could do bangs. You can get the bangs. You could get the, what would be really cute. And if you know anybody who does this, like send me their picture. Like I'd love to see it. And shout them out but i really like when i see like, the bangs here and like the short the, the bangs that they get like gradually longer in the front that's cute that's super cute like if you you have like, the rest of your hair up in a bun or a ponytail but you have the bangs down and the sides framing your face that's really cute so shout out to lock bangs shout out to willow smith in this look and number 10 goes to some free form locks Shout out to Lauren Hill when she had her locks back in the 90s, early 2000s. And I want to shout out this particular look because it's completely, it's completely um, effortless. Well, she has, she has, some, she has preform locks. For those of you who are not familiar with the term, preform locks are locks that you just let grow. You may pop them, you may or may not. You might just let them grow on its own. They may pop on their own as you go on with life and shampoo, and, but generally speaking, it's very effortless, very unintentional. You may pop them periodically so that they don't form into one lock, although some people don't care. They just, if it forms into one lock, it, so be it. Um, Lauren, I'm not sure what, if she separated them or not, but they look very natural, very effortless, and they look very thick and full and healthy. She looks like she has really dense hair. By that I mean she looks like she has a lot of hair on her head. She has a lot of strands. So all of us can't achieve that look from preforming because we don't all have dense hair. So just shout out to her. It looks really good. It's very, very healthy and full. 
and like that's a really nice length um shoulder length i guess you'll call that shoulder length yeah and that's number 10. so let me know which was your favorite look of the 10. i would probably say number one for me was ava duvernay i love me a size sweet fin style very sexy very sensual very subtle that's an aesthetic i really like let me know if you want some more videos like this if you have any video suggestions leave them down below in the comments Make sure you check out KeishaCharmaine.com for your hair products and accessories, okay? We have more things coming to the shop this summer, this spring, so stay tuned. I'm really excited to introduce those things to you. Just sit tight. As a matter of fact, if you're watching this video and made it to the end, I have an exclusive sale just for you. This is your sale. This is your coupon code. You're welcome. If you clicked out too early, too bad. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Love, light, and locks.